Hey guys, today I'll be comparing three different delay pedals. So one is the Maxon 89 analog delay, which um, I've owned for the past few years. Costs about $150 US, I think. Uh, and this is the reissue 89, um, also based on the older Ibanez 89, um, talking about when Maxon actually made those Ibanez pedals. So it's a classic. Um, then there's the Catalan bred Bella Epoch Tape Echo. This is a reproduction of the Maestro Echoplex EP3 circuit. Um, I've had the Bella Epoch also as well many times, so I'm very familiar with this pedal too. And yeah, I know this is an analog delay. This is technically a tape delay, so they're different kinds of delays, but that's why I want to compare them in this video. Then there's the Keeley Caverns, um, and the Bella Epoch, by the way, co costs about $200, I think, US. The Keeley Caverns, also about $200. And uh, this one is actually a dual delay and reverb in the same pedal. <clears throat> and it's a combination of a shimmer spring modulated reverb with a uh, Keeley magnetic echo delay. So the delay section of this is trying to reproduce a tape delay. And I've actually owned the Keeley magnetic echo before. Uh, and it's like a digital delay basically that tries to reproduce the tape delay. So it'll be interesting to compare uh, the delay section of this pedal uh, with the Bella Epoch which these are both tape delays and then with the Maxon 89 analog delay. Um, and the Keeley costs 200 bucks too, by the way. So yeah, um, I'm very interested to compare these three. Uh, I don't think I've done a delay pedal shootout before. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. I have a Fender Stratocaster on the neck middle pickup position. I'll be playing the same, middle, same uh, pickup position just for consistency. Uh, going into a Keeley Supro amp, uh, or Supro Keeley amp, I should say. Uh, because it provides a pretty neutral blank canvas for me to experiment with, with pedals. Uh, it's not very colored at all. Just a nice clean pedal platform amp. So yeah, uh, let's compare all these. I know the Keeley definitely seems a little bit more overwhelming because it has a lot more controls um, because it's actually two pedals in one. It's a reverb and a delay pedal. Uh, but I'll just be testing the delay side for this video. So first let's start out with the Maxon 89. Um, there's three controls here. It's the easiest to control out of all these. I would say it's fairly similar to the Boss DM2W I used to own, which was the, the Boss Wazacraft delay. Um, you only have three controls here, delay time, repeat, and decay level. So if I set them all to uh, around nine o'clock, this is what it sounds, actually this is my dry sound. This is with the A D9 on. As you guys can tell, it's a very um, set at these small, like these uh, lower settings. It's barely noticeable. It's very subtle. It's almost like a slapback. At these lower settings, it definitely sounds more like a reverb. <laughs> it's very subtle. So yeah, the Maxon 89 is more of a, I would say, darker sounding delay, just like the Boss DM2W. So yeah, set at these lower settings, it's very subtle. But it's a, yeah, it's a nice sounding delay. Um, so. Yeah, it's, it's barely noticeable at these lower settings, but still sounds pretty good for that light, slight slap back type of delay. Yeah, and then if I turn up the delay time, you guys can hear more of the effect. It gets more pronounced now. Especially if I turn up the delay level, which is just the volume of the delay, I guess. By uh, delay volume, I mean like how much is, I guess, to convert it into wet. So my dry signal going in and how much of it is converted into wet signal. And I guess that's what the delay level does.
turn up the repeat. Turn up the delay time. Hear it getting more and more So it'll be like the self oscillating. Here. soft self oscillation there so pretty cool um, very beautiful sounding analog delay definitely uh, it's I think it's definitely up in the Hall of Fame of analog delays right up there with the MXR carbon copy and the boss DM2 um, yeah the Ibanez slash max on 89 has to be up there All right next up is the Bella Epoch tape echo um, this is just a newer design of it they made it look more like the Dunlop EP 103 design I'm I don't know like if it's a trademark design or something like that that they couldn't use it before but this used to be a different design that I had for the Bella Epoch. Now, yeah, it looks pretty much, uh, they take the same graphics from the Dunlop EP-103 or EP-101 and <laughs> slapped it on here. Interesting. Uh, and they use it for the same for the Ep Epoch Boost, which I have as well. Uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, there's a lot more controls here. There is, um, for the Bella Epoch, there is Echo Sustain, uh, Modulation, Record Level, Echo Delay, and Mix. So yeah, definitely a, mo a lot more controls compared to the 89, which is definitely a lot more simpler to use. Um, so for the Bell Epoch, yeah, having trouble fitting this all in the frame. Okay, come on. Yeah, okay, let's uh, maybe keep it like this. Okay, so yeah, let's turn it up um, again, all set to low levels. And yeah, this is supposed to be a reproduction of the Maestro Echoplex EP3, including the preamp. So if you have a Echoplex preamp pedal like the Dunlop EP101 um, or the Catalan Bread APOC Boost, which I guess is the expanded version of the preamp inside of here, uh, or the Clinch FX or Chase, Se Chase Tone Secret Preamp or whatever. Um, this one includes some of that Secret Sauce preamp in there, so I think it has that FET inside of here. But let's take a look. So again, set to everything set to lower settings around 9 o'clock. Seems to be very subtle. I think the only thing I really hear, not too much of any trail. 
Yeah, I don't hear like too much of any uh, delay. Maybe it's just very light and subtle, but I do hear the effect of the preamp in here. So turn it off. Then when I turn on this. can hear uh, my tone sounds a little bit different um, there's it sounds a little bit darker and warmer there's a little bit yeah, of a darker warmer sound to it and I think that's the effect of the the EP3's preamp I guess emulation inside of here or I guess it's not maybe not emulation they just actually use the effects circuit inside of here so yeah this is a uh, I barely hear any delay effect, but I do hear the effect of the preamp now. It's definitely affecting my tone, um, and that's that's as intended, right? This is uh, supposed to color your tone because it has that EP3 uh, Maestro Echoplex flavoring inside of here, which is supposed to color your tone. So yeah, um, we're gonna turn up the echo sustain first. What's the Okay, not too much. What if I turn up the mod? Record level. Let's turn up the record level here. And turn up the mix here. And now start to hear some. Okay, the mix is start is where you start to hear it. We turn up the echo delay. turn up the mix and the echo delay, uh, these two knobs really affect it a lot. And I just definitely start to hear more of it. similar to the delay level on the max song. It's up to you guys if you think that's uh, better sounding than the analog delay or not, but this is a tape echo delay, so it's a little bit different. The tape echoes technically came before analog delay, although this pedal itself is obviously not a tape delay. It's an emulation of a tape delay, which I guess is a digital delay. But anyways, um, yeah, actually not sure how much of it is analog versus delay in here, but I don't know, I'm not as cattle and bread. But um, yeah, it's definitely trying to emulate a tape delay, which is the earliest kind of delay. Oh man, de definitely you can hear that decay. Right? Definitely more of a, a decay that I like 
Analog delays also have a decay, right? So digital delays don't really have a decay because they're just notes are just repeated perfectly. Analog delays do have a decay. Tape delays, though, however, seem to be the most noticeable. This one, like, see that that tail here uh, that you hear is um, yeah, that's that's that decay that you're hearing, and the tape delay decay seems to be quite noticeable here. Um, definitely more so than the analog delay even. And as we turn it up here, yeah, I wonder what I can do with this. Whoa, look at that. I know, there's some crazy stuff you can do with this pedal here. This is like definitely crazier than the analog delay. I mean, wow! I mean, you can create some crazy sounds with the um, with the max on, but this one, man, <laughs> it gets pretty pretty crazy, pretty pretty fast actually. It gets pretty crazy, pretty fast. Like I don't even have to set it to uh, very high in order for it to sound kind of crazy. gets really crazy really fast okay um <laughs> interesting so yeah for uh, it seems like for the Bella Epoch or you know this tape delay here yeah it's uh <laughs> um it decays a lot more like the decay is a lot more noticeable uh I guess compared to the analog delay so if I turn on the analog delay like I just set it pretty high for you guys to actually hear that decay right <laughs> If I use it with tape echo, I mean, already, I don't even have to turn it up very much for you guys to hear the, the craziness of this one. Yeah, I don't have to turn it up very much. You guys come in here, it starts to... I don't have to turn it up very much for the with the um, Maxon 89. I have to kind of turn it up a bit more. You guys can hear that decay from the original repeated signal here. But um, yeah, turn on this one. I had to turn it up very high for you to hear that. It's already starting to decay very easily. I'm trying to uh, duplicate the I guess wow and flutter or whatever you want to call it. Whatever I will have to kind of stack them. <laughs> crazy does it get if I stack these two? <laughs> I don't want to turn it up too much. But yeah. Interesting. Never try stacking uh, analog delay into a tape echo, but there it is. All right, now let's try the Killy Caverns. Um, so this little switch here is to turn the modulation off, uh, 
And then I could have uh, the deep setting here, which is heavy modulation, and then light is soft modulation. Um, and then I can control the, uh, the blend rate, repeats, time, decay rate, warmth, and blend. Okay. Um, I think the blend, decay, and warmth is for the reverb. So I just want to care about the uh, the, decay, the delay controls here. This is a complicated pedal to use because it's two pedals in one. But um, yeah, it looks like delay blend is from 0 to 50-50, this one. And the delay time is from 30 to 650 milliseconds. That's more than the 89, by the way. I forgot to talk about the delay time, but the 89 only has about 300, 300 milliseconds of delay. Not very much. It's, it can only do um, yeah a little bit of light delay. That's it. Uh, you want the Maxon 89 Pro if you want to have more of that. Um, or the Boss DM2W is another option if you want to uh, have longer delay times that sound similar. Uh, darker sounding, I guess, like that. Uh, delay rate, it's a modulation rate here. And then delay repeats is the feedback. Okay, so um, anyways, let's turn on the Keeley Caverns here uh, with no modulation. Okay, I'm just going to have everything set a little bit lower so we know where we start from. Again, this is a tape echo. It's a digital delay trying to replicate a tape echo, which is the purely magnetic echo, basically. So it's basically the same circuit as the purely magnetic echo. Everything's set to low. Um, it's a light slapback echo. Let's turn it to a uh, light with soft modulation. And then deep, more modulation, heavy modulation. I guess with everything set to low, you can't really hear too much, right? Let's uh, turn it up more. Uh, first, turn up the time. It's just the uh, same thing as the del delay time here. Blend. This is the same thing as delay level on the Maxon. on the Bell Epoch as well. And then the repeats is the same as the repeat knob on the Maxon. The rate here. Light modulation. Deep modulation. some of that uh, decay there, right? It's trying to do that tape echo thing again, uh, where it decays very uh, noticeably. <laughs> Let me set it higher. Thank <laughs> you. 
overall, um, the Keeley Magnetic Echo, I'm going to refer to it as the Keeley Magnetic Echo because that's basically what this half of the Keeley Caverns is. Uh, the Keeley Magnetic Echo, um, yeah, it does try to do, yeah, it tries to like emulate, I guess, a tape delay, and it's essentially a digital delay that tries to emulate a tape delay, but it doesn't seem to have as much, I guess, nuance as the Tape Echo does. The Tape Echo does seem to have a lot more, I mean, the, the controls are just more, right? I mean, you have the uh, echo sustain modulation record level, uh, which is a signal hitting the tape, uh, echo delay mix. Um, it seems that the Bella Epoch, it gets just really crazy really fast <laughs> with all these controls. Uh, magnetic echo seems a little bit more restrained in that sense. I mean, we, we can compare them, just like have them all, let's just be fair, have them all set to noon here. First is clean signal. Max on 89, everything's set to noon. <laughs> you guys can tell this one gets crazy pretty fast. Uh, and then the Achilles Magnetic Echo here with the deep modulation. I'm just going to use deep modulation. Train compared to the Bella Epoch. It's somewhere in between the Bella Epoch and the Maxon 89 actually. The Maxon 89 is definitely the most restrained in terms of the effect. I mean it's just a very, yeah it's a very like subtle light effect here. It's almost like a reverb, like a very ambient effect here. I guess similar for Boss DM2W as well because I had them both type of delay. That's what this uh, Max on 89 is. Um, I mean, it can get crazy, but not too crazy, because like, even if I turn it up here, yeah, it's it's not too crazy compared to the, <laughs> these tape echoes. And then after that is the Keeley Magnetic Echo, where you guys can see. hear that um, definitely more of a pronounced effect compared to the Maxon 89 but it's still relatively restrained um, it's not trying to be too crazy or anything but we can you know, we can always turn it up <laughs> It almost sounds more like a, yeah, I mean, this is a digital delay technically, but it sounds more like a, yeah, like the analog delay almost, just with more noticeable deterioration of the repeats. Yeah, it just sounds very close to the 89 in terms of being, uh, the effect is, is actually similar to an analog delay, but just the uh, the repeats sound more decayed. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not too different from the analog delay, honestly, it's very restrained. Um, the effect itself, yeah, I mean, the uh, Keeley Magnetic Echo, I believe, is just, I know it's trying to reproduce a tape, tape echo, but, but to my ears, it doesn't sound all too different from the 89. It's just a, yeah, it's more of a, just the repeats sound noticeably more decayed, and I think it's trying to duplicate the wow and flutter and stuff like that from the tape echo. But, you know, you hear that? Right, where's the 89? It's like, Turn up a bit. Yeah. Let, let me actually stop.
understand that. Let's see this, the trails on this. Yeah, just the nature of the repeats, I guess, is a little bit more decayed sounding on the, uh, the Mag Echo slash Caverns. So yeah, the Bella Epoch, I believe, has the most capabilities out of all these three. Um, so, well, I'm, I'm not counting the reverb side of the caverns. I know that there's, there's technically two circuits inside of this pedal, but I'm just say, saying for the delay aspect of things, yeah, the uh, Catalan Bread Bella Epoch definitely, especially with, with uh, these amount of controls, there's a lot you can do with this one. Um, let's turn this up. Yeah, this one. This one gets pretty crazy pretty fast. So I had to like, I had to really experiment with this one because it gets pretty crazy. You guys can tell. put it up to noon because it's already too crazy at that point. Yeah, I guess um, the Bella Epoch with the control set to about 10 is about the same as these other <laughs> these other ones with the control set to um, you know like two. Right, that tells you how much crazier the Bell Epoch gets. So I compare, right? Um, again, Max on 89. Mag Echo. Definitely sounds brighter compared to the Max on. The Max on is more of a darker sounding delay. And, uh, Bell Epoch. Interesting, okay. The uh, Bella Epoch's actually more of a darker sounding delay. The the Keeley Magnetic Echo seems to be brighter, brighter sounding uh, than these two, interestingly. These two seem to be darker sounding, These ones, this one's brighter sounding, but anyways, interesting. Uh, and yeah, like once you turn up anything on the Bella Epoch, it just gets crazy. <laughs> guys uh, I would say the uh, the TLDR of this shootout um, what I've learned is that the Maxon 89 is basically for those who really want to have a um, a short sounding delay like something that's just uh, adding a little bit of delay and that's it the Maxon 89 is really good for that it doesn't do very long de delay times it doesn't get too crazy um, yeah I mean there is the 89 Pro and then there is the uh, the Boss DM2W. Those can do longer de delay times, and of course other delays, right? Like carbon copy and uh, way huge octopus, any number of other analog delays. Um, but yeah, for the 89, it's mostly meant for shorter delay times. You can only go up to 300 milliseconds. So yeah, if you just want to add a little bit of ambience, maybe to your 
notes. This is really good. It's a darker sounding delay too. Then the Keeley uh, Caverns slash Magnetic Echo, because that's really what the circuit is. Um, definitely, it's, I would say it's closer to the 89 that it's, uh, it is like... Also seems to be more of a shorter sounding delay as well. Um, I think this goes a little bit more, maybe to 650, I believe, milliseconds goes a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a brighter sounding delay as well. So you get more of that analog delay sound with this, um, but with a little bit of extra crazy tape tapey stuff thrown in. Like you see, you hear that extra bit of degradation. So if you guys ever wanted an analog delay with just more of the decayed sounding repeats, then uh, then yeah, the Keeley Magnetic Echo is pretty good, um, or the Caverns, which has that. Um, then the Bella Epoch Tape Echo is very interesting because it, it does the most. Um, if I want it, if I just have the widest range of delay sounds, this one gets it for me. It gets anywhere from like a small, subtle, like if I want to have a small, subtle delay effect, I can do that. Yeah, like this is pretty much the same setting as the middle position on the max. So if you want just a, you know, like a light delay, uh, a little bit of slap back, you can do that. But then if you want the craziness, then this one can do that, you know, it can, you can do everything like this. Craziness ensues as soon as you uh, start to turn this up past the halfway point. There's so many parameters to adjust on this one. So yeah, uh, I would say the Bella Epoch definitely has the most capabilities. Um, it's the most powerful delay out of these three. Uh, yeah, you can just keep on playing around, experimenting with the controls. I think you can find virtually any type of delay sound with this. It's crazy. <laughs> the Keeley Magnetic Echo is also trying to be a tape delay, but it honestly does only a subset of what the Epoch of the Bella Epoch can do. The Bella Epoch is, uh, yeah, definitely I think can do more than the uh, the Magnetic Echo side of this. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know. And plus, this one has the preamp effect, right, where it kind of brightens your your tone. I mean, darkens your tone actually for this one. Let's see. a little bit of a darker um, color to your effect so it has that EP3 Echoplex preamp coloring effect built in as well which the Keeley doesn't have um, so yeah let me know what you guys uh, think which delay would you guys pick um, the Max 189 for those who you want the shorter delay times uh, more subtle effect and then the Keeley Caverns slash Magnetic Echo with um, you know more of a tapey sounding effect on top of the analog delay it really sounds like an analog delay but with a more tapey repeat or the Bella Epoch, which is just a full-on crazy delay pedal with a lot of experimentation you can do. You can do all sorts of delay sounds. Um, yeah, it's very powerful. So the TLDR on these three delay pedals is that the Maxon 89 is for those of you guys who want just like a simple delay pedal. You don't need long delay times. You don't need to experiment much. Uh, it's just a very you know, basic but good sounding analog delay. Uh, you know, just has three simple controls, simple to use, and uh, yeah, you don't need that many, um, you don't need a long delay time. Just 0 to 300 milliseconds, uh, the Max 189 is good enough for that. Um, then the Keeley Caverns slash Keeley Magnetic Echo, it's basically a digital delay but with more filtered repeats. So the, the sound to me is actually similar to an analog delay except the, de the repeats are more decayed. Uh, so also has a longer delay time of 650 milliseconds. So if you need a bit longer delay time uh, and you want to have that more decayed sounding repeat, um, then yeah, the Keeley Caverns slash Magnetic Echo is good for that. The Bella Epoch is just kind of in a class of its own because yeah, essentially it puts everything from the Echoplex EP3 into its uh, into a pedal. So you have m many more controls. Um, it's for people who want to experiment more. Uh, definitely takes in longer to dial in the right uh, delay sound, but it definitely is more flexible as well. It's just got a lot of controls to it. Um, it gets really crazy really fast. 
Um, the Bel Air Pocket is really um, yeah, just a more fully featured, more powerful delay pedal compared to these other two. Yeah, there's many, you can definitely control more parameters with it. You can get uh, all sorts of crazy sounds out of it, like crazier than the other ones. Um, so yeah, definitely it is the more advanced delay pedal out of all these, I think. So yeah, that's my summary and conclusion out of all these. Um, yeah, if you want a simple delay pedal, go for the Maxon um, 89. If you want something a little bit cooler, more interesting, go for the Kilib Cavern slash Magnetic Echo. And then for those of you guys who really want to experiment and uh, dive deeper into uh, delay stuff, then um, yeah, the Catalan Bread Bella Epoch is the way to go. So that's it guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.